In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Excel calculations that you'll need to do for the last part of the homework assignment. You'll need to go back to your house data set. It should look like this. It should have a house ID column, and it should have a column of prices, a column of bedrooms, and a column of number of bathrooms. You need to go down to the bottom of your data set, down here. In the next row, um, under your data set, type in uh, mean in column A. Then type in standard deviation, or STDEV. Then type in standard error, or you can just type in ST error. And then type in margin of error. Or you can just type in ME like this for margin of error. Then go right here under your first column of data and then highlight this box. Go up to data right here. I'm sorry, formulas. After you go to formulas, go to more functions, then go to statistical, and then go to average. And this window will come up right here. You can either highlight the column, like you did last time, or you can just type in um, B2 colon B31, and that'll, and that'll calculate the mean of all numbers in the column from row 2 down to row 31. You don't want to include column you don't want to include row 1 because that's the, the title of the column. Then I press OK, and it gives me the mean. So this is the mean of the entire column, column B, from row 2 down to row 31. Next I can uh, put the, I can hover right here at the bottom right corner and, and click and drag this across. And it'll give me the mean of all three columns. Now I can go here and get the standard deviation. I just need to go back up to more functions, go to statistical, like I did last time, and go down to stdev point s. Point s means sample, and point p means population. We're, this is a sample, so you need to go to point s. Next, type in b2 colon b31, and then press OK and it'll give you the standard deviation of the column of data from row 1 down to row 31. Then you can click on the bottom right corner and drag it across and you can get the standard deviations of all three columns. Next we need to get the standard error. Um, Excel can't actually get this for us, I don't think. Right, so what we're going to have to do is type in an equal sign and then highlight the standard deviation, which is right above it, equals B, 33. Then type in a slash or a division sign. And then type in SQRT for square root. After you type in SQRT, type a left parentheses and then type in our sample size, which is 30, then close the parentheses, and then press enter. And now it divided the sample standard deviation by the square root of our sample size, and we got a standard error. It's actually an estimated standard error because we're using the sample standard deviation. We don't know what the population standard deviation equals. Next, we click right here and drag it across, and we get all three of them. Next, we go here. We need the margin of error. Actually, right here, let's type in 95% um, margin of error, just to be more specific. Excel can get this for us. We just need to go to more functions, go to statistical, 
and then we go down to competence. The population standard deviation um, is unknown in our situation. We don't know this. We don't know the standard deviation of the entire city that we sampled, which means that we're dealing with a, a t-score. So we go to confidence t. Confidence norm would be z, and confidence t is t. After you go to confidence t, type in alpha. Um, the confidence level that we want is 0.95. We want 95% confidence because um, we want the 95% margin of error. Alpha is just 1 minus the confidence level. So 1 minus 0.95 is 0 0.05. So if we type in 0 0.05, we're setting the confidence level to 0.95 or 95%. Then we go, we have to type in our standard deviation. The easiest thing to do is just to highlight it right here in column B, and it'll go in. Then type in the sample size. We have, you have 30 houses, so the sample size is 30. And then press OK, and you'll get your margin of error. And if you, if you click right here at the bottom right corner and drag it across, um, it should do it for all of them. Right, so it did it for all three. Because right here, the standard deviation is B33, which is this right here. Right here, the standard deviation that was plugged in is C33, which is this. And right here, the standard deviation that was plugged in is D33, which is this. So it did work. You, you can just drag it across. And I just need you to, to print out your Excel sheet with, um, the, with the data set and with these calculate, labeled calculations underneath right here and staple it to the back of your homework. And just, um, that'll be the Excel, uh, work for this week.